When predictions do not end up resonating with expectations, there is always evidence of frustration. Currently, this is proven to be Cardano's case as various price forecasts, outrageous or not, have rolled out, only to end up being trampled like a vegetable. Now that Cardano ADA is up by 75%, is it time to push some predictions? Perhaps this time Cardano ADA will end up calling the shots. On March 3rd, Twitter incorporated a doge on its load screen, also replacing its Bluebird homepage logo with the iconic picture. Then the buying frenzy for Dogecoin kicked off, prompting a 24% spike. Further momentum took the coin as high as 10 cents, marking a 17-week high. Profit taking since the local dip that bottomed at around 9 cents, however, the move was enough to outpace Cardano as the 7th largest cryptocurrency by market cap. The trial to peak move added $3.4 billion to Dogecoin's market cap. Despite the subsequent price dip, Doge has managed to retain the majority of its gains. Its $13.65 billion market cap marginally edged above Cardano's $13.58 billion valuation. As usual, critics were uncomfortable with this move and blasted it. Last year, following Elon Musk's Twitter purchase in October, rumors circulated of a crypto integration. However, by January, the social media giant poured cold water on the rumors. Twitter said it was exploring how to incorporate digital payments, including acquire relevant regulatory licensing, adding that crypto functionality may come later. It's unclear whether the stunt indicated coming crypto integration. Musk has posted several tweets in response to the move, including a meme on the bluebird being an old photo. Referencing past run-ins Musk had with regulators, as well as the current Operation Chokepoint 2.0 situation, Ivan on Tech sarcastically called on the SEC to take action. However, taking a more serious tone, Brad Mills blasted Musk for promoting degenerate get-rich-quick crap over Bitcoin. Elon is contributing to financial illiteracy and wealth inequality, he said. Nevertheless, as Bitcoin climbed above $30,000 for the first time since June of 2022, and Ethereum continues to record gains in April, closing in on 2000 investors are now turning to altcoins such as Cardano ADA, with expectations that cryptocurrencies will keep outpacing other major asset classes amid hopes that central banks will pause rate hikes. The machine learning-based algorithm over at Crypto Price Tracking and Forecast Platform have set the price of Cardano token at $0.42 cents by April 30, 2023, according to the most recent data. Using technical analysis indicators like moving averages, moving average convergence divergence, Bollinger Bands, and Relative Strength Index, the algorithms project an increase of 3.6% compared to ADA's price. Notably, it was also reported on April 10th that the Cardano whales have been engaging heavily in the market over the past two weeks. These whales have acquired a total of 560 million ADA tokens, amounting to $218.4 million in value. So this trend suggests that Cardano is becoming increasingly attractive to institutional investors with high net worth individuals. Now Cardano whales seem to be on a radical move, as a key metric pointing to their activity, large transactions, is seeing a spike. According to a crypto analyst, Ali, large ADA transactions are on the rise, suggesting that the Cardano network activity is heating up as institutional players and whales make their moves. He tweeted, Large ADA transactions are on the rise, suggesting that hashtag Cardano network activity is heating up as institutional players and whales make their move. This is a bullish sign supporting the hashtag ADA uptrend. Ali added that this remains a bullish sign supporting ADA uptrend. As reported, he said that Cardano is poised to confirm a head and shoulders pattern, potentially igniting a 44% breakout that could push ADA to 60 cents. This pales into comparison to the prediction from the machine learning algorithm. Network developments keep getting impressive, and ADA Will, a Cardano community-focused Twitter account, has taken to Twitter to highlight several positive developments seen in the Cardano ecosystem. One Cardano has a vibrant ecosystem, but some news goes unreported. In hashtag latest on Cardano, I highlight news, minor and major, L1 plus L2 upgrades, stats, dApps, SPO, NFT, governance, community, and more all things Cardano. Irregular, but hopefully frequent. Here's number 17 in the series. Please, DYOR. Also, IOG's lightweight wallet Lace recently launched on the mainnet. Meld, a Cardano DEX, has also announced the upcoming launch of its wallet and bridge, and this is anticipated to bring traffic to Cardano. Cardano's founding entity, Emergo, is funding the largest ever Cardano hackathon, tagged Emergo Build 2023, and will award $2 million in total prizes. Aneta BTC announced progress made in its project during the week. The public testnet of Aneta BTC, which will bring non-custodial wrapped Bitcoin to Cardano, was scheduled to launch on April 20th, 2023. Cardano's biggest DEX by TVL, MinSwap, 
saw its highest volume month in March. ADA Whale noted that although volumes across Cardano are still low, this key metric seems to be growing fast. A sea of goodies are coming for Cardano. All these moves sound incredible. The Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, has also teased the rollout of ZK rollups on Cardano. During an AMA, Hoskinson was asked why there is not much chatter about the ZK rollups on the Cardano blockchain. And in response, he said the scaling technology is being incorporated into the Midnight sidechain. More details will follow later, according to Hoskinson. As a matter of fact, he said, There is a huge, wonderful, beautiful plan for it, and it is heavily related to Midnight. We shall talk about it at a later date. Although Hoskinson did not expand further on exactly how ZK rollups will be utilized, the mention of Midnight suggests it will be in the capacity of authenticating private data securely rather than for scaling. So let's give Cardano some credit. It has defied all the odds and performed surprisingly well in 2023. The crypto is up 75% for the year, but how much longer can it last? On the surface, all signals seem to be beaming green for Cardano ADA. Cardano is now preparing for another major technological upgrade called Volatair, which will bring the blockchain a step closer to delivering on its original roadmap. All of that, of course, is good news for investors, but take a peek below the surface and the case for buying Cardano becomes less obvious. The cryptocurrency is still underperforming according to many of the metrics typically used to value blockchains. However, in a recent one-hour interview, Charles Hoskinson appeared to be lukewarm at best when it came to blockchain's future growth prospects. So is it really the perfect time to buy Cardano? Well, let's not answer that question based on the reaction of the Cardano founder. A good starting point is reviewing some of the key benchmarks used to value blockchains. Cardano is obviously a very popular one. At the end of 2022, it ranked the top blockchain by development activity. In a one-hour interview, Hosting said specifically mentioned NFTs as a big win for Cardano. According to DAP Radar's NFT data, there is not a single Cardano NFT collection in the top 25. Moreover, the top NFT collection on Cardano, the Ape Society, is nowhere close to being as valuable as the Board Ape Yacht Club collection on Ethereum. Over the last month, the top sale of the Ape Society was $62,550, while the top Board Ape sold for $561,460. I mean, did you expect to see such a big difference? But let's take a look at the world of decentralized finance. Heading into 2023, this was supposed to be the one area where Cardano was going to make a big splash. New decentralized exchanges were emerging, new DeFi protocols were being developed, and staking was basking in popularity on Cardano. But using TVL, a metric used to evaluate DeFi strength and total blockchain activity, Cardano is still lagging far behind. It ranks 18th among all blockchains and still trails other layer 1 blockchain rivals such as Ethereum, Solana, and Avalanche. I guess one question is, where is Cardano planning to generate future growth, if not from NFTs or DeFi? One option might be artificial intelligence, given that Cardano is now the home blockchain of SingularityNet, the hottest AI crypto token on the planet right now. In many ways, a blockchain-based approach to AI could work for Cardano, but that's not even the point of it right now. When asked about future growth at Cardano during the interview, Hoskinson instead gave an unexpected answer. Africa. Cardano has been in Africa since 2017, and is probably the crypto that is most closely associated with the African blockchain industry. According to Hoskinson, the big picture view is to continue to generate success stories in nations such as Kenya before moving on to Ghana and Nigeria. From there, it is on the other emerging markets in places such as Latin America and the Persian Gulf. The only challenge here is that the growth opportunity is very hard to value if you're an investor. The hope is that there will be some very real DeFi applications that emerge from funding grassroots blockchain projects in Africa. At the end of the day, Cardano holds a tremendous amount of promise and potential. But the primary concern is that it's taking too long to see the kind of results that investors demand. We have been walking on thorns with Cardano for too long. So when are the roses coming? But that's going to do it for today's video. Be sure to click on the subscribe notification buttons and we'll see you in the next video.